And so where does this all stand? The markets are telling you one thing. Investors betting on the fact that this is a relief, the Mueller report. It's not such a big deal, and certainly impeachment is a stretch. But then there are those who follow what these politicians are yapping about, and could it be sort of a, well, a, an oddity going forward? Let's go to Democratic strategist Scott Levinson, market watcher David Bunsen, and a Fox News contributor, Kat Timp. You know, Kat, you look at this here. The markets are betting that this is a relief, mm -hmm. that, that, that this is as far as the Mueller report went, and not buying the, the impeachment talk. What do you think? I'm not buying the impeachment talk either. I think it's mostly for political points, because if you really look at what that would do, it could maybe not even get through the House, and it would certainly not get through the Senate. And just like it did when Republicans did this to Bill Clinton, I think it would make President Trump more popular. It would make them look petty, and it would make President Trump look more like a victim and a sympathetic figure. So I, I, and I think that they know that. They must know that. I don't think they're complete morons. I think that they are able to realize simple facts and history. So I really think that they're just trying to drum up support among their base, which I think it is effective in that way. I think that other Democrats, especially people who are further left, do like to hear that. Well, you know, if you look at it, Dave, right now, um, the markets don't seem to think this is going to be a worry. Now, they could be wrong, and, and, and markets sometimes get, miss something here, but what, what do you say? Well, look, at the markets did in 1998 when they did impeach a president. Uh, it was, the market shrugged that off as well. Um, I think I agree with everything Kat said. I would just add, I think it's worse. Because remember, Bill Clinton had already been reelected. So it hurt the Republicans with that Senate election in 1998. But the fact of the matter is that this ridiculous idea of impeachment going into Trump's reelection, they could not possibly I do, do a think bigger too, favor as well. For him. I don't know how you feel, but so I, I think the economic environment, market environment, does count for something. And I think the markets, sure. Republican I, national though they are, they didn't like it when Bill Clinton was in trouble and the possibility that he might go. Uh, the environment is similarly strong today, right? Uh, the fact is, it's not strong. It's strong for investors. It's strong for corporations. It's strong for for those that have real money for the elites. If you look at well, the, who, who, if you who look if you look at the, the real Clinton, buying, were they just well, the elites back then. Oh, I mean, the fact is, right now, what you have is a real loss of buying power among the people who he's looking to gain votes from. When you have a minimum well, wait, wait wage a that has Are you saying that the rally that Bill Clinton was experienced was any different than the rally that this one is? I'm saying that real wages haven't increased in buying power. That's not what I asked. Is, is the environment good enough to sustain this president? No, the environment is not good enough to sustain this president, which is exactly my point. You All have right, a do real. Do you agree with that, Kat? I mean, I, I don't. I don't agree with that. I, I don't agree with that. I think that people care a lot more about what's in their pockets than they care about they have this Russia invest, the Russian investigation. The economy is doing well. It's a fact. It's a fact that, the, it's a fact that we, have, we have we have very very low unemployment we as well. Wait, but this is exactly. Well, wait, wait, I, I don't want to win politics, but see, but you just left at that. But do you think that we have? the same kind of stagnation or even worse than when Barack Obama was president? Oh, because I can tell you, statistically, it's better. But when you consistently talk to about the unemployment numbers, it's important to look at what kind of jobs are going up. And when you consistently see that minimum wage jobs are going up and the people that are really getting wage increases are at the top 1% and 2%, we know who well, this economy I mean, they, is. Help me with this. Yeah, I, mean, I see it, record low. I would like to agree with them. Every key demographic. What I, do you I say? would like to agree with them if it were factually true. This isn't a disagreement of opinion. It's well, a disagreement wage stagnation of fact. Is fact. All 10 deciles have experienced wage growth. Wait, but wage All stagnation is deciles. not wage stagnation. You have 3.4% wage growth, the highest we've had in and for a decade. And it's all among the 1%. No, that isn't true. It is actually. It's all 10 deciles. Experience. Never going to Americans, Latinos, that, women, that's, that's empirical. All Democrats, the record low unemployment level. Right. Now, I'm not here to kiss anyone's hiney. I'm just telling you the fact of the matter is these are the metrics. You know, uh, Democrats are using with Barack Obama and saying that things have improved since the middle. All I'm saying is, you're, you're ignoring when, all of that. No, what I'm saying is, when the minimum wage hasn't gone up in this country in over a, almost over a decade, we have record numbers of seeing, companies raising we're that. We're seeing buying power among the younger generation. Uh, I don't minimum know. wage is an entirely different discussion. Yeah, yeah, what I'm seeing, real, yeah, what I'm seeing, to keep the politics out, I'm seeing, you know, strong retail sales, strong consumer confidence numbers, strong industrial production. Whether you want to credit this president or not, it is what it is. These are the metrics we use to decide what party stays in power. For now, doesn't that look good for this president or not? 
objectively it's a fact that it does and I think that it absolutely does matter so I think that what Democrats should be doing is they should be focusing on how they say oh we can make it even better this these are our ideas rather than saying let's impeach the president which is Elizabeth Elizabeth Warren's proposal to, over the last couple of days on really dealing with student loan addresses what the interns in my office are fearful about every day they fear they're not going to earn as much as their parents that's a constant and that filters down to confidence but you're not concerned how she's going to pay for it just by uh, taxing I am rich totally, people. Of course I'm concerned about how she's paying for it, but I'm more concerned that we don't address it. I'm more concerned that as we talk about the indices, which are by and large good for corporate America, we're not dealing with well, the there people are a lot of pension on the funds that have but you don't money hear, tied to them, you right? You don't hear President Trump talking at all about the student loan problem. You don't really hear him about well, maybe because well, I'm you, against you talk, he right. talks about dismantling right, what do you, what do you health insurance. Do? He doesn't no, talk I, about I, I think providing that, better I, health insurance. I think that the problem with the, these talking points is that they're 20, 30 years old. The wage stagnation that peaked under the Obama years, and the fact of the matter is the labor participation force. I don't understand why we don't talk about this more. There's 7 million more people since Trump took office that are actually in the job force looking for a and job. And are you surprised the president's poll numbers aren't even stronger? If well, the economy but, was booming, no, it's got but do you worry about I'm not about surprised, that? but I'm disappointed. The reason I'm not surprised is because I know why it is. Why? I blame him. I think that the president has done the right thing from a policy standpoint, economically, deregulation, corporate tax reform, yeah. and he's appointed very good people in a lot of the key positions. I would agree with that. But that his, his, yeah. his, his own piece is only that's exactly right. he, he, absolutely. Even throughout the Russia investigation itself, I don't think it would have been talked about as much as it was talked about if he didn't insist on talking about and it so much. Free <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Would you rather than talking about impeachment or this pathetic economy you allude to? I mean, obviously, the weaponry, the arsenal is there. The report is lying at the floor of Congress. You have to talk. You have to Do you really think that when you disagree with Nancy Pelosi, Steny Hoyer, and some of these other Democrats are saying that might be a foolhardy measure. I actually think Nancy Pelosi is taking exactly the right tone and focusing not on the politics of the impeachment discussion, but on the constitutional obligation. No, no, that's true. She's going to hold hearings. And I think that, that is exactly the right tone. But you feel that they go tone. too far and that the Republicans, who many but this said is, went too far, I think the pace Democrats dictates, are repeating. I actually think it's really important that this pace is being drawn out the way it is because it gives the leadership an opportunity to educate the electorate. Right. I just can't believe we're seeing Democrats, really some committed. Democrats, fighting so hard for Pence. I had no idea they liked Pence so much. I don't know if they realize that doesn't mean that you get President Hillary Clinton if they actually so, did impeach David, Trump. Would it be a big word to you at the these hearings, whatever comes of them, develop into something. No, not in the slightest, because all first right. of all, they're not going to impeach him. I agree. Cat, I don't know that they have the votes in the House, <laughs> yeah. but I know they don't have them in the Senate. Right. He's not going anywhere. Right. If he did, it would be Vice President Pence, and but all they're again, doing it is, is the helping politics. his reelection. All effort. the Republican framing of discussions around impeachment, around the politics. Nobody's talking about the constitutional obligation that the Congress has. Oh, I'll talk about that all day. Yeah. Well, I'll talk about the constitutional and obligation all day. talk about a constitutional and obligation. I think you would say that they overdid it, right? Well, I say that. A lot of Republicans are telling Democrats, you risk overdoing it. Well, the Mueller report put it at the hands of Congress. They have an obligation to take it. The so you think by, by focusing on that, they'll do just fine? I think if they take the time and All educate right. the electorate, they'll do just fine. We shall see. Guys, I want to thank you all very, very much.